Today, I want to talk about something that really got my attention. Elon Musk's interview, where he said, Mark my words, AI is far more dangerous than nukes. Mark my words, AI is far more dangerous than nukes. It's a very bold statement, because today, every company, whether large or small, is moving towards AI. He went on to explain that the danger of AI is much greater than the danger of nuclear warheads by a lot. Musk pointed out that nobody in their right mind would suggest we allow anyone to just build nuclear warheads if they want. So why are we so relaxed about AI? I think the danger of AI is much greater than the, the, the danger of nuclear warheads, by a lot. Um, and nobody would suggest that we allow anyone to just build nuclear warheads if they want. Well, it's not the first time Musk has said something like this. Musk has been vocal about his for a while. I'm very close to the cutting edge in AI, and it scares the hell out of me. I try to convince people to slow down AI, to regulate AI. This was futile. I tried for years. Well, I think we are seeing the most disruptive force in history here. We will have for the first time something that is smarter than the smartest human. It's hard to say exactly what that moment is, but there will come a point where no job is needed. You can have a job if you want to have a job for sort of personal satisfaction, but the AI will be able to do everything. How do we find meaning in life if uh, the AI could do your job better than you can? He has often mentioned that AI's ability to evolve and improve at an exponential rate is what makes it particularly frightening. For instance, he referenced Google's AlphaGo, which managed to defeat the world's top Go player as a sign of AI's potential to surpass human capabilities in ways we might not fully control. In the interview, Musk emphasized the need for strict regulations on AI development and mentioned that AI could be conscious. Well, some people would quote like a, like a soul, you know, religion yeah, is a soul. Like you feel like, you're you, right? I mean, you don't feel like you're just a collection of atoms. But on what dimension does thought exist? What dimension do emotions exist? We feel them very strongly. I suspect there's more to it than atoms bumping into atoms. Maybe AI can pave the path to the discovery of what, whatever the hell that thing is. Yeah, what is consciousness? When you put the atoms in a particular shape, why are they able to form thoughts and take actions and, and feelings? And even if it is an illusion, why is this illusion so compelling? Yeah. Like how do, Why how, does this illusion exist? If you want to know more about it, we have uploaded a video on our channel. You can watch it by clicking the I button. Now, for your information, this particular interview took place several years ago, but it remains highly relevant today. This rapid progress scares him, and he believes it should scare us too. But here's the weird part. Despite all his warnings and drama, Elon Musk went on to create his own AI company called XAI in 2023. And now I am the Kunder. Destroyer of worlds. Yeah, that's right. After spending years sounding the alarm about AI, he dove into the world of AI development himself. According to him, he founded XAI to understand the true nature of the universe and develop AI in a way that benefits humanity. So, is it genuinely true, or is he simply observing other companies and positioning his own to avoid missing out, given Mr. Musk's involvement in nearly every industry? Interestingly, Musk has often been critical of other AI initiatives, including OpenAI, the company behind ChatGPT. He has expressed concerns about how such companies handle AI development and their potential risks. I am the reason OpenAI exists. I would be constantly urging him to be careful about the danger of, of AI, and Larry calling me a specious. Uh, for being um, pro-human consciousness <laughs> oh, instead of <laughs> machine consciousness. And I'm like, well, yes, I guess I am. I, I am a speciesist. And I thought, look, this is, this is probably a hopeless endeavor. How could we possibly compete with, uh, how, how could OpenAI possibly compete with, with Google DeepMind? I mean, this, this seemed like an ant against an elephant. So what does this mean for us? It's a call to action for governments, tech companies, and the public to take AI risks seriously and push for comprehensive regulations. Whether Musk said it casually or seriously, one thing is clear, he's not wrong. As individuals, we need to grasp the importance of using AI cautiously. The answers AI provides and the polished videos it creates may look impressive, but they're ultimately artificial and can be risky if not handled responsibly. This warning isn't just about fearing technology, it's about actively shaping its development to benefit humanity safely. What are your thoughts on this? Drop a comment and keep watching these videos to stay informed.